Okay, round four. So, start aggressive. If you want, you can even use your fingers to stir, but side to side, no picking up. You want to keep the stratification going. Feel, make sure that you can settle your fingers to the bottom. Make sure you're moving correctly. And then do your slow tilt, three to five minutes for the entire tilt. Hopefully pretty soon, it takes a little while, but once you get rid of a lot of those lights, you'll start to see that layer in the background. It doesn't like to move forward. So we're pretty much to the close edge. Pour off that same edge using just your pinky. So you can see there's a little bit of the dark heavy stuff there. And just barely scratch that surface. water so you should notice that I'm being very conservative here and I'm only scraping off three to four tablespoons for the metric that's about 25 milliliters now about 50 milliliters so start my tilt you'll notice this is a really good workout if your arm doesn't hurt, you're probably not doing it correctly because you have to do very fast and short movements to prevent the big waves from forming. Pour it off. Scrape with the pinky. Get some more soapy water. Now the next step comes when I've poured it down into the center, you're going to get most of your heavies down in the corner of that pan. And so if you remember one from the first video, you get the best separation in the act of traveling across the pan. So I switched the pan around 180 degrees so I can then travel across the pan to the next side. And what that does is it hopefully keeps the heavies down in that corner and it allows the lights to travel across and get away from those heavies and allow you to scrape them off. So, too big a waves there, so I'm going smaller motions. I'm pouring it off, and I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm already getting a nice little dark stripe there. So, scrape off our 3 4 tablespoons or 500 milliliter or 50 milliliters. Do it again. Turn the pan 180 degrees. So you'll notice I'm kind of rushing this for the video. But when it's your sample, you want to take your time. So you'll notice by now the water's gotten extremely clear. No more clays. So if you notice, right back there, we got just a little line of zircon and magnetite coming down with the water level as we poured it off the front. So reiterate, only scraping off that middle, not in the front, not in the back. So I'll pan this down a little bit more and show you the next steps in the next video.